um, discussing a little bit now and how to choose your payment method. So cash in advance uh, is the most secure and preferred type of payment for the seller. Uh, it's a good method for new buyers. Buyer must trust the seller will then send the shipment after they found the receipt. Um, it's not a very good method of payment if you are in a stronger competitive business environment. Um, they might be obtaining credit from a other company, but it's something to, to think of. Uh, open account, it's most security preferred type of payment for the buyer because the buyer, the same time that you're assessing the risk of selling to them, they might be assessing the risk of buying from you. Um, so this method of payment allows them to receive the cargo and then they will pay uh, the entire shipment once the cargo is received at destination. You are more exposed in this type of uh, method of payment, of course, and you run the risk of their never returning, never paying, and it is a little bit more difficult to, to collect a payment for a foreign country than actually is domestically. Um, a middle ground is a documentary uh, collection. You have either two types, the site draft or time draft. So site draft is um, you send a document to the bank. You do not release the document to the buyer. And they, the bank will only release the documents to the buyer when the payment is received. The bank does not have an obligation to pay for the shipment on the buyer's behalf, but they hold the document until the payment is received. That guarantee that the seller gets paid. Be careful on the type of inco terms you're choosing when selecting this type of payment. If you're choosing a D terms and you're responsible for destination charge, you can run across a lot of storage charges in the mirage. Time draft is just a little is just a step above of a open account. So the documents are sent to the bank, the shipments get delivered to the to the buyer, and they agree upon a date that the payment will be collected. The bank will then collect the payment and revert to the seller. The bank, again, does not have an obligation to pay um, the seller if the buyer doesn't uh, come through. The most secure is letter of credit, which is most used when sellers aren't confident on the buyer's ability to make a payment. The buyer can also request the letter of credit for the seller if they want to finance against it. And there are some countries uh, regulations that mandate the use of letter of credit because uh, it's a way that they control the sounds going to the country. Some uh, companies just prefer to do letter of credit. So it's, it's a matter whatever uh, choosing the payment methods, whatever works for the seller and the buyer and country, the regulations of the country.